Navjot Kaur Sidhu has joined the Congress. With one Navjot in the Congress, will the second one follow? Let's go straight across to Navjot Kaur. Uh, Ma'am, thank you for your time. Let me start by asking you, uh, you have of course chosen the Congress, but I must ask you why the Congress and not the Aam Aadmi Party with whom too you and your husband were talking for several months? Uh, I was uh, actually looking out for an ideal situation wherein we would have uh, 117 new, very hardworking and honest people and uh, with, uh, you know, a very good uh, vision for Punjab. But uh, it didn't happen at all. Uh, and on the other hand, I was so disillusioned because people were joining in and the volunteers were so suffocated because it was being run like a East India company from Delhi, wherein the orders were coming from Delhi and no one in Punjab uh, knew where to go and whom to speak to. So it was like, uh, you know, a leaderless uh, party uh, wherein there is no one. And you can talk about anything because they said uh, there will be something coming from Delhi and that is the only thing you can talk to people. And then the level of politics had fallen to such a uh, uh, low level that there were only jokes and poems and uh, uh, laughing about the Prime Minister, laughing about Chief Minister, uh, like and uh, just saying poems. That doesn't save Punjab anywhere. And all those promises which you made, uh, you will uh, choose candidates from the volunteers, it didn't happen. They were parachutes and uh, they had paid money to uh, get tickets. It was not there. Uh, we will not take two candidates from the same uh, family. That happened. We will not form an alliance. That happened. We will remove drugs in 25 days. Could you do it in Delhi? No. We will give 25 lakh jobs. From where will they come? What will save Punjab? Who will save Punjab? Who is the CM face? Who, who is the council of ministers? Do you know who are the experienced people who will run Punjab? No answer. So how can you uh, ride on a rudderless boat? All right, so strong words there for the Aam Aadmi Party describing it uh, to be the East India, run like the East India Company from Delhi. But what about your husband, ma'am? What about Navjot Singh Sidhu? Uh, I understand you speak only for yourself and not necessarily for him. But today, Captain Amrinder Singh, when asked if you would manage to bring him on board, uh, quipped, when Mrs. Sidhu is here, then how can he uh, stay behind? So can you confirm whether he'll be joining soon as well? Uh, Bakha, now it is very clear, like uh, we are one soul and two bodies. So if the soul is there, uh, so uh, let's see, uh, the body can stay without the soul for how long. <laughs> and then at least uh, this is very, very clear that of course with my coming into Congress, uh, he is not going to join any other party. So 90% is clear, rest I leave it to him to make a final decision and then announce. Well, I think that's quite clear, uh, two, two bodies and one soul. But what would you say to those uh, uh, that who may think that the fact that he hasn't joined means he could still be keeping a post-election scenario option open? No, 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 no. It's nothing like that. Barkha, we don't behave like that because we don't take anything out of politics. We give it from our pocket. We, uh, we don't earn anything out of politics. It is uh, not a profession for us. It is social service. And even in my term in these uh, 12 years of politics, there is not even a single person, has, uh, person can say that we have taken a penny out of politics except for the salary. Now, come on, uh, we, we don't want anything except for, we want to do something good for Punjab, that's it. And uh, wherein he finds a platform, wherein he can really uh, serve Punjab openly, without any hindrances, he'll be there. Okay. Would you say that the breaking point with Ahmadi Party for both you and Navjot was that they didn't want both of you in po politics uh, and in elections uh, simultaneously and expected one of you to take a back seat? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It was cleared from the very day, very single day, because we thought we are coming with the party uh, who runs uh, according to their own constitution. It, that came from us, that be very sure that only one of us will fight. And then I offered uh, them Navjot Sidhu, and they wanted me as the deputy CM, didn't want Navjot Singh Sidhu, just wanted him to campaign. How can he improve Punjab without being a part of the system? Again, they wanted him to be a national spokesperson for whom? For a person he has not worked with, you know, again the same thing. And uh, he had left Rajya Sabha only to serve Punjab. How could he do something good for Punjab without being a part of the system? I had clearly, categorically said, I will not be into the government, into the race for a seat if Navjot Singh Sidhu is coming. But can you talk a little bit about your own role now? What role do we see you playing? I mean, there was an expectation, of course, that you'll be contesting from Amritsar, uh, that Amrinder Singh, of course, will be vacating that seat. Uh, there was even talk of one of you being in the, in the running for Deputy Chief Minister. So what can you say about that? 
but ka i am just a volunteer i have just joined congress unconditionally leaving everything behind whatever role the party has in for me i will take that role i am just concerned about now about making the congress government in punjab because it is a best the best option available to uh, now at the present in the present scenario what does it bring to you that the aap or the bjp couldn't i can't be vinoba bhave uh, stay out of the system and just look at the system and keep criticizing the system and not doing anything i am accountable only to myself not to all the 117 candidates i was very clear with the kali dal i can't work with them they are uh, goons and they work so badly like they are into land grabbing false cases so i was very very clear that oh i will not work with them i talked to the bjp leadership that if you are talking about honesty about uh, being a very good party non communal then this is uh, associate yourself from them because otherwise people are saying you are puppets in their hands and uh, they were also uh, you know literally uh, uh, you know uh, humiliating uh, our uh, people uh, the bjp men uh, in punjab so i came and told them everything they were not ready to listen and initially initially they had said that okay we might break the alliance so we were waiting for that then i looked for an ideal situation yes okay i don't want fourth class uh, eighth pass uh, these illiterate uneducated people to run the government and let's come in with a new party with 117 intellectual good people honest people who are really concerned about punjab they'll be doctors is officers ips officers and but then there was nothing i could see nothing I, it was like a shocker to me and then the ideal platform you have to be a part of the system to improve the system so the ideal platform to provide a stable government stays uh, as only the congress in the present scenario all right navjot kaur se do that calling arvind kejriwal's party run as, like the east india company calling the akali's goons and saying the congress was the best choice of available options and her husband uh, should be there 90% all, almost almost there 90% already there there thank you so much for joining us on the backstop sir thank thanks a lot barkar bye bye and that's it on the buck stops here today thanks for watching goodbye